Today, Universal Loud is announcing the next generation of Apollo X interfaces. Meet the brand new Apollo X Gen 2. So Universal Audi has decided to refresh the already incredibly successful Apollo line of interfaces. So the Gen 2 brings new features and improved quality to the already amazing Apollo interfaces. So first let's talk about the outside. As you can see, it matches the already existing Apollo X16D. It has an industrial design with a flat panel, the same thing as the X16D, with improved knobs. The audio quality has been improved in many ways. First is the conversion. The A to D and D to A conversion has been improved in all the desktop and rack mountable interfaces to match up to the leading Apollo X16. The headphone amplifier has been improved in all the interfaces from the desktop all the way to the rack mountable interfaces. So what that means is that you're going to get improved quality of sound with better conversion, better signal to noise ratio and better dynamic range. And you'll be able to hear yourself better with the improved headphone amplifiers. One amazing feature that separates this Apollo X Gen 2 from the previous generation is assistive auto gain. So this feature allows you to set the correct gain automatically for you instead of reaching for a knob or in the software. The process is very easy. All you have to do is open up console, click the auto gain button and start playing your instrument or singing and the software will automatically set the correct gain for your source. What's really cool is that you can customize auto gain and set it to your liking. One of the best purposes for auto gain is for recording yourself or if you're recording somebody else. But in my case, if I'm recording myself, I'm playing guitar and I want to set the gain, it's a lot easier to set it to automatic and I start playing the instrument or singing, for example, and then the software does everything for you. So in a recording setting where you want to move things along, this is going to help and increase your workflow because you can set up multiple channels to be auto gain and it'll speed your time of recording and also set the proper gain. So another really cool feature is bass management. You can add this feature to a 2.1 system all the way to a 916 for immersive mixing. This allows you to add a crossover with adjustable frequency and slope all through DSP so it's in real time. And one of the biggest features that everyone has been waiting for is Apollo monitor correction. This feature is powered by Sonoworks and it allows you to correct your monitors or headphones from the interface in DSP so it's in real time and it's the lowest latency and best integration in the market. You can analyze the room with the Sound ID software and microphone and once you have that correction for your room, you can load it into the Apollo interface. What's really cool is that you can have headphone correction as well so you can have a flatter response on your headphones so you can judge better when you're mixing. This feature is not available today, but it will be available in Q4 of 2024. Every Apollo interface comes in two versions, either Essentials Plus or Studio Plus. Basically, the difference is that you get over 20 plugins on the Essentials Plus and over 50 plugins on the Studio Plus. The only exception is the Apollo X16 or X16D where it comes in either Essentials Plus or Ultimate Plus, which is over 100 plugins. The DSP processing is what really separates the Apollo interfaces from any other interface. The fact that you can run plugins on the way in like Unison preamps, compressors, EQs, reverbs, etc. And now we have bass management and room correction all within the interface. So that means your CPU is not handling that, which gives you the best latency specs in the market. That's why you can run those plugins and not hear any latency. This DSP also allows you to mix later on if you want to use some of the UAD plugins. You can use them and they're actually running from your interface, not from your computer, unless you're using the native version of some of the UAD plugins as well. Today, Universal Audio is also launching a whole new set of UAD native plugins like the Ruby, Lion, and Dream amplifiers that came from the UAFX pedals, as well as some other titles from SSL like the E-Channel Strip and the G-Bus Compressor. And last but not least is a brand new plugin called the Top Line Vocal Suite that gives you all the tools that you need to craft a perfect vocal from tuning, saturation, dynamics, reverbs, delays, modulation, and even a companion plugin to help you find the key of the track. And since they're native, that means they're also available in the Spark subscription. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments and like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making more content for you.